Hello everyone, this is Renat Filizola and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to configure an InterVLAN. So InterVLAN refers to the process of enabling communication between different VLANs uh, within a network. VLANs, they separate a physical network into multiple logical networks. Um, InterVLAN routing allows devices in different VLANs to communicate by using a router or a layer three switch. In this case, in our scenario for today, we're gonna use a layer three switch, which is this one here. So the idea actually is uh, to set up the VLAN 10, which is uh, the range is on the network 192, the 168.10.0. And my VLAN 20 is uh, this one here on my right side, which has the uh, network 172.16.0.0 slash 24. Uh, I have this switch here, which is a layer three switch. And the IP address of my VLAN 10 is 192.168.10.254. And the IP address of my VLAN 20 is 172.16.0.254. So this IP address here will be the gateway of my VLAN 20 devices. And the 192, the 168.10.254 will be the default gateway for my devices that are on my uh, VLAN 20, sorry, VLAN 10, okay? So I have this admin laptop here connected to my layer three switch using a console cable. I'm gonna click on that. Let me move this. I'm gonna click on terminal and then I'll hit okay with the default uh, configuration here. So I'm in my switch and it asks, uh, would you like to enter this initial configuration dialog? I'm gonna say no, because I'm gonna set up everything manually. So I don't need help with the first setup. So I'm gonna say no here. And I'm on my switch. I'll do enable and I'll go to the configure terminal uh, mode, the configuration mode. I'll just like change the name to layer three switch. It's fine. And now what I have to do is uh, first command I'm going to use is let me actually exit from here and from here show VLAN brief. So as you can see, we only have one VLAN, which is the native VLAN, which is like the default one. And all of the ports are in my VLAN one. So the idea here uh, is I'm going to set up from fast Ethernet 01 to fast Ethernet 012 uh, VLAN 10 and from fast Ethernet 013 to fast Ethernet 024. They will be uh, the ports associated to my VLAN 20. Okay. So I need to go to the configuration mode, configure terminal, and from here, interfaces. Actually, first I need to create my VLAN. So I'm gonna create VLAN 10, and I'm gonna name this VLAN uh, VLAN 10. Okay, so now I'm gonna exit from here, and interface range. So in this case, for my VLAN 10, I'm going to use from fast Ethernet 01 to fast Ethernet 012. So I can do here fast Ethernet 01 to 12. And I'm going to say switch port mode access. So from my fast Ethernet 01 to my fast Ethernet 012, they will be in the mode, in the access mode. Uh, switch port access VLAN 10. So I'm saying that this range here from fast Ethernet 01 to 12, 
they will be associated to my VLAN 10. Okay? I'm gonna exit and I'm gonna create my VLAN 20 now. I'll create a name for it. I'll just keep VLAN 20. Uh, we exit here. Interface, so same idea, range. But now it's from my fast Ethernet 0, 13. So I can say 0, 13 to the last board, to 24. So 24. Switch mode, switch port mode. They will also be uh, access ports. Access and then switch port access, they will be associated to my VLAN 20. So the VLAN configuration is fine. As you can see, ports are down, just like resynchronizing, which is fine. I'm gonna exit from here, exit again, and I will do the show VLAN brief command again. So now we still have VLAN one, but it's just like the default one, just like my gigabit uh, zero one and my gigabit zero two. There's nothing connected to those ports. And my VLAN 10, we have fast ethernet from zero one to zero 12. And my VLAN 20 from zero 13 to my fast Ethernet 0, uh, 24. Okay. So now I need to go to configure terminal again. Interface VLAN 10. So I'm in the uh, interface mode for my VLAN 10. And I'll add the IP address, which is 192.168.10.254 sorry 192.168.10.254 and mask 255.255.255.0 and I need to say no shutdown okay so next one uh, I'm going to exit from here now do the same thing, interface, VLAN, but now I'm gonna configure my VLAN 20, which the IP address is 172.16.0.254, and the mask 255.255.255.0, and same thing, no shutdown, okay? So I still, so everything is set up already, but I still cannot uh, communicate between VLANs until, let me just like exit here, until I do this command, IP routing. So when I do this IP routing, I'm enabling the uh, inter-VLAN uh, communication. Let's say that I'm gonna close here, I'm gonna close here. And I'll check if I can ping, for example, from PC1 to uh, PC4 or whatever, any PC on the other network. Let's see. Ping. First, I'm going to try uh, my local 192.168.10.2. Yes, I can ping two. Three. I can ping three. And I'll try uh, the default gateway, which is the IP address of my uh, layer layer three LAN 10, VLAN 10. Yes, I can ping. And I'm gonna ping uh, this PC here, PC6. Ping PC6, I believe is 172.16.0.3. Let's see. There we go. First was request a timeout, probably because you are still uh, looking for uh, the ARP. 
the ARP protocol, but that's it. So let me try again. Okay. So I'm going to try actually, uh, I'm going to go to this simulation mode. Now click on PC1. Let's move this. Command prompt. I'll repeat the command, the ping. I'll minimize and I'll do a play from here. So it sends like a packet from here. And the switch just routed the packet to the other VLAN. So PC6 replies to the switch and the switch replies back to PC1. So that means that my inter uh, VLAN uh, worked fine. And that's it. It's a very basic uh, configuration. I really hope you guys liked this video. And please subscribe to my channel. If you really like this video, please uh, forward and share with your, you know, like your friends. Uh, and please give it a thumbs up to this video. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Take care.